Japan's got a new solution for space junk problems. Did you know that? Of course they do. Uh, Japan's good that they're thinking about uh, space junk. You ever thought about space junk, man? It. It's up no, there. I don't. It's up there, and it yeah. stays up there. NASA estimated more than a decade ago that 95% of man-made objects in orbit, they're junk. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's junk up there. Oh. And yeah, There's not a lot up there that we actually want to be up there or need to be up there, like as far as satellite material, stuff like that. It's mostly junk that's left over, hmm. various launches and shrapnel metal things. Yeah. And uh, it's actually not great. People are a little bit concerned that at some point, if it keeps accumulating, it could create problems for future space travel. You'd have these like limited windows. You guys sneak right, out yeah. and and um, it's like a and and then prison some, of debris. Yeah, and some stuff actually eventually could, could can enter the atmosphere and drop down. And there's a couple of examples in this particular article of a a piece of a. Let me get this right. It's a piece of a. piece of a, uh, some sort of space vehicle. Here it is. A Chinese rocket core rained down in pieces over West Africa. If its re-entry had been minutes earlier, it could have slammed into New York City. Oh. So anyway, these Japanese researchers are, sa are sitting there thinking up this idea of a wooden satellite instead. Satellites wooden made of wood. Satellite. Holy moly. Who would have thought? And the the reason for this idea is that upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, it would burn up, unlike these metallic objects. Mm. So this organic material could have this kind of cool attribute that it uh, burns up. What do you think, Will? Is the future of mankind wooden satellites? Yeah, let's bring it back to wood. <laughs> that would be great. Well, the company that's proposing it is a 400-year-old woodworking company in Japan. Well. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah. Imagine a 400-year-old company. I bet they know a lot about wood. Well said. <laughs> well said. I believe you covered it all right there. We just got to plant more trees if that's the case, you know. Sustainability. According to the European Space Agency, out of 128 million pieces of debris in orbit, about 34,000 objects are larger than 10 centimeters. So most of these little metal shavings and bullet-sized things. But they travel super quick. When larger objects the collide, they produce many, many smaller ones, and they can travel more than 20,000 miles per hour. Hmm. You know what that would do to your flesh at 20,000 oh, miles per hour? I don't hour? want to imagine. Yeah. You'd be in, you'd be in trouble, man. Oh, yeah. 